From boxing now, let's go to tennis. The Lagos Open has got into its quarterfinal stage and expectedly, no Nigerian has made it into the last stage. Now let's talk about some of the results from yesterday's second round uh, results. Uh, Cecilia, we yeah. previewed uh, the second round matchups yesterday and we said that getting to the quarterfinals, I mean, will suffice uh, for Nigerian players because we weren't expecting them to go all the way to the final. Absolutely. And uh, unfortunately, no one in the men's singles and in the when women's singles, singles uh, no one into advanced it. into the quarterfinals. Uh, Tracy, you're smiling. <laughs> yeah, smiling kind of. now. Nigerians can't be you can't be wanting to eat where you didn't um you know you didn't plant now you want to eat. <laughs> to be a tennis player, the regimen is very, very, very yeah. expensive. Yeah. Most of the players that come through, yes, um it's one of the below par um um events, but it's still graded. But they are travelers. You are comparing yourself to South Africans and Egyptians that before they came here, even Eastern Europeans that before they came here, they went to mm. three different continents to play and then they are match game ready, they um, are fit. <laughs> And then you want to carry girls that are local and you want that them to compete. Play. And all they play is maybe uh, one boy that <laughs> has muscle and can overrun them. I mean, I feel like what they did so far is good. I, what I wanted, I was hoping for this Lagos Open. I was going to see our our ten, um, sensational teenager, Mary Love Edwards. Um, you know, she had gone down um, earlier, a couple yeah. of uh, months ago, because she was a little bit, um, she was having shoulder stress or something. I know she's like 14, but I was hoping a wild card would let her enter the event. Why? Because I feel like we might have something beautiful going here. Uh, if you compare her with Quadri, the sixteen year old who managed to at least reach the yeah, knockout stage, yeah. it's nothing at least. Mm. It was second something. Round. I feel like their energies will bounce off each other. Mm. Uh, Mary already has a support system going. I feel like um, Quadri could use that. Mm. So if we have two young girls, just age difference of just two years, yeah. if they manage to bounce off each other's energy and individual sponsors like they do for the polo girls or the polo guys manage to step up, I feel like they can go far. But uh, kudos to the ones that are making it happen. Um, parent, and for me, I feel like some of the biggest stories for me will probably come out from South Africa. We had those two sisters, um, Sonia mm -hmm. and Afe, what's her face? Um, the yeah. Kruger sisters. Yeah. And the, uh, Kruger, the first senior one was able to beat the top seed yeah. in the competition. So, and she's not as um, experienced as, as the top quadri. seed. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that's massive. So I feel like there's a room for improvement. Kudos to the guys organizing. I feel like when they do it next time, even if the prize money is 25K, Eh? It would be nice that they put a roof over the place because they did nice stuff when it comes to um, uh, arranging the grounds, making it more in our local street stuff. They'll say make it more sexy. It was beautiful to see the seats arranged, mm -hmm. the, the, the colors are popping. But any small shower, everybody runs inside. So yeah, it's kind of. It's kind mean, of the only, the only call, uh, mm. long, long tennis, of course, unfortunately, right now it's not mm -hmm. covered. So yeah. mm. uh, that's what it is. We don't know whether the plans are to uh, make it covered of subsequent. Uh, Championships, uh, but let's see our results, <laughs> second round results, uh, uh, let's see how it all panned out uh, yesterday, where Nigerian players just couldn't um, get the job done. Let's start with the top seed, uh, Skanda Mansuri mm. uh, of Tunisia. Uh, he took on his opponent uh, Tankai Garanganda from Zimbabwe, and it was a 7-5, 6-4 victory. Uh, well, that's for... Emmanuel Idoko. I mean, he actually had to fight. Yeah, I mean, it, it was it's a big battle. Yeah, because yeah, the, yeah. First, the very first set, uh, Emmanuel Idoko was leading through one. And yes. I actually told Irene, I was like, Irene, are we going to have an upset here? Mm. Maybe this guy would just say how it's injury and all that. Irene was like, it's just the first set. Come on, just wait for the second. Uh, it's yeah. a mental strength. 7-5, 6-4. It, it was very competitive yeah, match, it was, as you can yeah. see. Yeah. 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 It wasn't blown. It was not It was a respectable loss. It was not a donut or a bagel like the others. So we like this one. All right. Talking about Tangai Grand. Yeah. Ganga, took on another Nigerian, Joseph e. Ubon. Um, unfortunately, Ubon retired um, in that particular matchup. So that's how the Zimbabwean was able to go through to the next round. We also saw action uh, between uh, Meluli Sabanda, Sabanda and uh, Jatin Dahia. And it was a 7 5 6 2 6 love win. Mm. Uh, Kelvin Emery defeated Aziz Waka 6 love and 6 2. Still on the men's singles are uh, Ian Govies, 6'3", 6'2", over Kevin Chariot, while David Pichler defeated William Usha Muka, 6'1", and 6' love. In the women's singles, uh, still the men's singles, that was yeah. quite long, yeah. <laughs> um, Alden Spectic, 6'3", 6'1", over Yash Charaksia. <laughs> and uh, Aziz, <laughs> Aziz uh, Dogas uh, defeated uh, Thomas uh, Setoji 4-6, six, 6-3 six, and 6-3.
the women's singles, Cecilia? Yeah, for the women, it was Nastia Kola and Zoe Kroger. That's one mm -hmm. of your girls. Zoe, 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 yeah. Zoe, Zoe is out. Mm -hmm. Six, two, six, three. She lost in that one. Fanny Oslod and Suwajaya Bevisetti was seven, six, six, love. How do you go into a tie break and the next mm -hmm. day you're losing everything? Mm -hmm. It's always difficult. Continue mm -hmm. with the women's singles now. Leslie Stevens and Isabella, that's the one who take out the top seat. She didn't have enough energy for Stevens. It was seven, six, mm -hmm. six, three. Yeah, yeah she, I mean, Two it was sisters. difficult for her, but it was a tough test. But then she had to just come. I mean, she just couldn't have enough energy. Laura Picosi and Nika Konkachuk. It was seven, five, six, two. Mm -hmm. uh, Rutaya Busale and Sawinka Sama. It was six, love. And 6 2, that's one. And they continue. Ria Bati, I mean, this one was always going to be oh, a tough one. This but, but, one. But, but, but I love the fact that, you know, uh, you this... know more had to take the first set. I mean, it's good, but she just couldn't six continue. 6 2, and I got yeah, excited. Yeah, I got excited. Yeah. I went about to see an upset. Okay. You just see if she can yeah. continue. But, like it's a, but it just shows she's a good player and she can yeah, mix she it is. with the best. She I, I feel like she, 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 she just, needs, really, she just yeah. needs a little bit more competition, mm -hmm. top seed competition, and she just needs more exposure. And I feel like she could compete with the rest. But I think the biggest story for this one would be. Blessing Samuel. She was our top seed female yeah. athlete for the tennis girls moving into the competition. And, and what happened? She underperformed. I mean, she had double bagels, man. Double yeah, double bagels. Double bagels, I mean, bagels Six love, six love. That's what in Glorious. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, the small well, girls are stepping up. Did you see Glorious? Did you say Glorious? In, in Glorious. <laughs> <Okay>. In Glorious. <laughs> yeah, uh, Blessing Samuel. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, yeah. wish her, you know, hopefully she can do a lot better. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next uh, year. So the quarterfinals. Uh, sets now, we know all the players that will be fighting for the semi-final spots, uh, both in the men's and the women's uh, singles. There you go, that's the men's singles. Uh, no Nigerian there. Um, let's go on to the women's uh, singles as well. <laughs> and um, no Nigerian there as well. So if you want to see good tennis uh, that doesn't involve any Nigerian, you can always go to the... Uh, 10 a.m. Yeah, mm -hmm. go Lagos to the Lagos Tennis, Lagos tennis Club. club. 10 a.m. Exactly. on come, so you see the very best of tennis. The good thing is the men, all the top seeds are still there. A guy who has won five ATP titles this and, year. Huge. And and the thing yeah. is, um, a few people might feel discouraged that to go because um, there's no Nigerian there. But you, if you go there, you might actually be watching uh, the next big thing yeah. when it comes to the WTA tour and the ATP tour. Bernard Charich, Vitalino has been there before. Has been there yeah. before. Charich, so yeah. you might in future say, I watch this guy actually play in London. Not in London, in yeah, Lagos. Right. <laughs> you know, so uh, there's always uh, reasons to go and watch uh, this. And let's listen to uh, some of these players, now the foreign based players have come to this event and they're all impressed uh, with the organization. Okay, yeah, well, we arrived like four days ago and, and the impression it has been like quite good, uh, very good organization. I mean, a lot of people working for us to be really comfortable, so good, really good. Uh, I hope uh, for my players to do uh, good papers. We have two girls of our team playing in main draw, and then we have one boy in qualis that he lost, but we are working hard to get ready for the next week. So Yesterday I played, but like in qualis first round, and I lost because I was not feeling good. And now I'm getting ready for the second week and to pick up my game, and let's see what happens next week. This is my uh, my third tournament here, my third year, and uh, it's been, uh, I hope that it's, uh, it's going to be a good tournament for me. My objective is to win uh, matches and play good, uh, even if uh, the weather is not good, but I, I will try my best and stay here until I play. It's my second time in Lagos, in Nigeria. Uh, I really like it. It's really nice. The hotel is amazing. The courts are nice. Uh, it's been big improvement, I think on courts and also in the hotel. Um, they made uh, better food here and also the um, umpires are really good and they have ball kits and yeah, so everything is great. Well, I hope I can win the tournament, we will see. I'm Right now I'm third on the list in main draw, so I have good chances, my draw is pretty good. I'll do my best and I hope I can win.